Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. My name is Paige and for today's video, I'm coming at you from my bedroom with sweats on and minimal makeup because I'm going to Jamaica in a few days and I thought this would be a great day to film a pack with me video. Today is a running around day, it's really only the free day left I have to pack everything and make sure I'm organized because tomorrow I have a bridal shower and then we leave early the morning the next day. So this is going to be a fun one. Now I know you've probably seen some past pack with me videos before, I'll leave some other ones I filmed down below, but today's is a little bit different because we are going to Jamaica for a week only on a carry-on. Now I don't know how it is in other parts of Canada, but where I am in Toronto the airports are a mess, it's always busy, there's lineups, there's delays, there's lost luggage, there's a whole bunch of things going on. And that makes me really, really nervous. I've been so nervous that I'm going to lose my luggage or something like that. And the original plan was to check in the luggage. But after hearing some horror stories, we all decided that we're going to do carry-ons and make it work. Now, I've gone on little weekend trips before on a carry-on. Like New York City, I always go on a carry-on. Or if I'm usually going to America, a carry-on works just because I know if I forget anything or if I can't fit anything in my suitcase toiletry-wise, I could just hop to the drugstore. But we're going to Jamaica. We're they don't really have that, or at least I don't know of. I've never been to Jamaica before, so I don't really know. So I need to make sure I pack absolutely everything, and we're packing it all in the carry-on. So today, I'm going to show you everything I'm packing in my carry-on, what I'm bringing on the plane with me, and some tips and tricks on packing on a carry-on. So let's get started and keep on watching. Okay, guys, I have my carry-on suitcase here. I've had this one forever. It's actually from Air Canada, so I know it's going to fit on the plane in the overhead luggage compartments. I know it's gonna work. One of my favorite luggages, I've had it forever, never wanna give it up. Now the goal is to pack all of my clothing and solid toiletries in here, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I have is actually in this top pocket here at the front of the suitcase. And what I have in there is a pair of flip-flops for the shower because I do not trust hotel showers. I always wear flip-flops and a couple extra plastic bags for dirty underwear, dirty bathing suits, stuff like that. So I always keep that in the front compartment out of the way from everything else I'm packing. So the first thing I'm going to pack in my suitcase is actually this, I'm going to call it a bikini cover-up. I guess you could wear it on its own. I don't really know, but I'm going to wear it over a bikini. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's from Zara. I just got it. It's super cute. Crochet. Love it. So that's going to go at the bottom of my luggage. But what I'm actually going to do is fold this flat so I don't take up too much room. Turning it so you guys can see a little bit. Next up, I'm packing two pairs of shorts. These are the only jean shorts I'm going to pack. And they're my tried and trues. They're my Goldie shorts. So I have these, which are the longer Parker shorts. And then I have the original Parker shorts, just so I could switch between the two and put that in my luggage. Um, so we're going to pack both of these. And again, they're just going to be folded flat, one fold. We're not going to bunch them up because that would take up too much room. And they're going to go in there just like that. Now, when it comes to daytime outfits, it's going to be nothing crazy. I know how it works on vacation. We're going to be wearing our bikinis most of the time, but I am going to pack a couple of basics just to throw over my bikini or if we're going to breakfast or get food or something. This is what I'll be wearing with the shorts. So pretty basic here. I'm packing a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt. I just picked these up from Zara. They were like 10 bucks. Just an easy basic to throw over and I can also tie a little knot in the front if I wanted to zhuzh it up a bit. So I just have basic colors, one in black, one in white, and that's going right in the suitcase as well. Really easy outfits, very versatile. I'm also packing my tried and true bodysuits. These are the contour tank bodysuits from Aritzia. I have one in black, one in white. Really easy with shorts, so we're just going to throw those in as well, and they don't take much room at all. Now I am going to pack two sort of throw-over shirts that I can wear with either my bikinis or shorts. One is just this pink button-down blouse from Zara. Again, as you can tell, Zara is my favorite store. Um, just a plain, simple button-down like that. Again, really versatile. I love this. And it's a bright color for summer. So we're just going to fold this up actually pretty tight so that could fit right in the luggage. And I also picked up this really cute, I'm obsessed, linen shirt. It's long sleeve and it ties in the front. Oh, it's going to be so cute. I can't 
late to take out some content in this. It's going to be so nice. But super light, super easy breezy, so I won't be getting too hot in that Jamaican sun. I heard it's really, really hot over there, and it's the middle of summer, so we gotta be careful. I'm also just gonna throw in a pair of linen shorts. These are really easy to throw on and off. And just a few other extra tank tops. This one is from Zara. It's like a knit crop top, and then I have this Aritzia um, knit top as well, just to throw over if needed or for chilling in the hotel room and we just need something to throw over i could just wear this so for night outfits i pretty much planned out what i'm wearing every single night and we're mainly sticking to dresses here so i'll have a dress for every single night you guys have seen most of these before so i'll just show you quickly but this is all coming with me another tried and true of mine this is just a white midi dress from aritzia in a really thick material which i love um, it doesn't really get wrinkled, so this is such a great dress to travel with. So that's going to go right in the luggage. I have a few silky cami dresses. So I have this cheetah one from Zara and this zebra-ish one from The Latest Scoop, which is a local boutique. Sticking that in there. I have this dress from Amazon. I've been waiting to wear this. It's like a heathered brown color and it has some cutouts on the side. It's really cute. Go to my Amazon favorites video if you want to see this on. It was like $30 and perfect for vacation. I call this my party dress because it's a bright lime green. It's from Zara and it's a one shoulder sort of top. It's super cute. I wore this for my birthday. It's going to be great for vacation. This dress you guys have seen before, it's from H&M. It's in this gorgeous trending green color. It's just a ribbed midi dress. Again, can't go wrong. Doesn't wrinkle. Super easy to wear. Now, this is where I'm debating which one to bring, and I might bring both because I'm not sure how the weather is at nighttime. But I have this crochet dress from Aritzia as well. It looks like this, and it is like a little bit see-through, as you guys can see. So that's why I'm kind of iffy. I mean, we're going to be with family, and I don't know how I feel about wearing a crochet see-through dress to dinner or something. So we're just going to pack that, like, just in case. Um, you know, it's great if me and Matt go on a dinner, just us two, but you never know. What I'm also going to pack, and the reason why I'm iffy about this is because I don't know how hot it gets at nighttime. Um, but I am going to bring this brand new, again, this gorgeous green set from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. It's pants and then a matching button-up top, and it's pleated. It's so nice. I mean, it is pretty thin, but I'm unsure if I'm going to be, like, sweating in this at nighttime. It's either going to be good or it's going to be bad, but I'm just going to pack it. And that's sort of the only, like, extra thing I'm bringing guys like it's not crazy since we're going on a carry-on we only have to pack what we need there's no room for overpacking here so we have to be careful quick tip for packing on a carry-on or with any suitcase you really want to get into every nook and cranny of your suitcase and take up all the space so make sure you're tucking things in the edges of the suitcase to not leave out any room obviously we can't forget about PJ so I just have a pair of shorts and a band tee here to sleep in and they do have fitness classes at the resort, so I'm just going to bring one workout set. This one is from Amazon, also in my Amazon favorites video. We're just going to pack this so I have something comfy to wear when I work out. For bikinis, I actually just threw everything into this freezer bag just to consolidate everything and it could fit right in the luggage. Same with my bra and underwear. I have all of my panties in here, my shapewear, and my bras. This is the purse I'll be carrying on at nighttime. It is so adorable. Again, from Amazon. And it's actually a dupe for a Bottega bag. It's this really soft woven pleather. And then just like a nice little purse on the inside. Great for just carrying around my phone, my wallet at nighttime. So this is going to go in the suitcase as well. And last but not least, I have my makeup bag. Again, there's no liquids in this. Liquids have to be kept separate if you're flying on a carry-on. So this just has my makeup brushes, my eyeshadow palette, my bronzer, eyelash curler, um, clips, hair ties, things like that. So this is all in my makeup bag, which is from my business called Shop Afton. I have this orange one. I actually just got this one for myself. We don't sell this color. But I put my patches on there as well with my initials. So, so excited for this. It's the perfect color for vacay. So in this pocket here, I have my hairbrush, my boar brush just to slick my hair back when I do my slick back buns, my hair waver, which is how I'm going to be wearing my hair most of the time, 
a loofah and then just one bikini top that's padded and wouldn't fit in the plastic bag. I just have that in here. But that's pretty much it in this luggage. And that's everything we're packing clothes-wise and non-liquid-wise. So I'm actually going to go ahead and zip this up and show you guys that everything fits in here. So as you can see, it zipped up perfectly. It is a little heavy, but the good news is, is that it's going to fit in the plane. So this is my main suitcase. Now, on an airplane, you are allowed one personal item. And guys, this is going to be my personal item. It is my base weekender bag. Now, I originally wasn't going to bring this as I thought it wasn't going to fit under the seat in front of me. But a few of the gals online said that it actually does fit underneath the seat. You can't just overpack it though or else it won't fit. It is a little tight, but it's going to work. So I do have some other stuff in here that I'm going to bring. This bag is one of the best bags. It just gets heavy really quick, so be careful. So the first thing I have in this bag is actually in this underneath compartment. I have some pairs of shoes, so I have one pair of heels, a couple pairs of flip-flops, and one pair of sandals. All really, you know, smaller stuff, but fits perfectly under here. The shoes are kept separate. We don't have to worry about the shoes taking up space. So that's what's under here. So here's what is in my base bag. First off, I have the outfit I'm going to be wearing on the plane. I just pulled that out already. So I'm going to be wearing this beautiful bright pink Divinity Romper from Aritzia. Super easy to wear and I don't need a bra, which is lovely, which is annoying to wear on a plane. So we're going to wear this and I just have my jean jacket to wear over this. And this will also act as my little jacket um, when we're on the resort at nighttime if it gets cold. So it's kind of a two for one. I'm also going to be wearing my sneakers on my feet. That's the footwear that takes up the most room and I'm just going to be wearing my shoes on the plane. So these are all my liquids and this is going to be in my base bag so I can easily pull it out when we walk through security. I don't know how I fit everything in here, but it happened. I know it's a new rule where everything has to be in a clear plastic bag. So I got an FDA approved toiletry bag from Amazon.com. It's clear so security can see exactly what's in it. I don't know if I can find the exact ones, but if I can, I'll link it down below or something similar. But in here I have my shampoo and conditioner, my makeup remover, hairspray, my liquid makeup like my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, my concealer, mascara counts as a liquid unfortunately, my liquid blush and a little perfume, things like that. Oh and my sunscreen. It fits in here. Um, I got the big version of the Super Goop and it's actually under 100 milliliters so I'm able to take that. And yeah so this is all of my toiletries. I don't know What's going to happen when I open this is probably all going to go everywhere, but I managed to pack it all in here. Now you're probably wondering what I'm going to do for sunscreen. So if I wasn't going with family and I had to want to carry on, I would just buy sunscreen there. But since our family's going, I'm actually going to shove my sunscreen into our family's bag. They're checking in a luggage, so we're going to put the sunscreen in there and hope that it makes it to the resort with us. But continuing on, next up, I do just have a pair of sweatpants in this bag. Don't know if it's going to be cold on the plane, and we're leaving in the morning, so it'll probably be a little chilly. So I just have my sweatpants. These are from Walmart. Super easy and inexpensive, so we're just throwing that in the luggage as well. I have another bag for my small business, and in here I just have some masks, lip balm, um, Advil, um... Things like that, just like little emergency things all to keep it in one little concise place and it's easy to throw in a bag so I'm bringing this as well. I'm bringing a hat. Um, this one I got from Amazon. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like sturdy but you know what, it's cute to not get sun in my eyes or get my face sunburned so <laughs> this is going in the luggage as well. Of course we can't go on a plane without snacks so Matt and I went to Bulk Barn and just picked up a bunch of snacks. We have pretzels, plantain chips, sour candy, M&Ms, things like that. We're gonna split this in between our carry-ons but it's all in mind for now. And I also was able to put the beach bag I'm gonna bring in this bag and guys drum roll please, drum roll drum roll. I am bringing this Prada bag as my beach bag. It's raffia. It's really nice. It'll fit all of my sunscreen, my sunglasses, things like that. Super cute. Can't wait to bring this on the beach. It's going to be so nice. So I just keep it in the dust bag it came in. And that's going right at the bottom. Now in terms of little compartments, it's just little things in here. In one pocket I have of course my passport. Can't go anywhere without that. And a box for my engagement ring. I'm actually bringing 
a fake ring to the vacation but at least I can store it in here while I sleep. Two pairs of sunglasses. I'm only bringing two because I'm scared that my Amazon ones might break because I've used them a lot. So I just have another pair as a backup. I'm bringing my Sojos ones from Amazon. And then I have this cat eye pair from Amazon as well. I'm still debating if I should switch these out. These are just super cute, great for summer and great for taking pictures as well. So I think I'm going to bring those two sunglasses. Again, two as a backup. Normally I'll just bring one. And then I have a little pouch with my earrings in it just to keep it all in one place. But yeah, I'm keeping my jewelry in this little pouch here. And then there's one zipper pocket in this bag as well. And in here I have my Kindle, some chargers. I got this portable charger from Amazon. It's super sweet. It just goes right into your phone. So I just have that in there as well. And my phone charger is going to go in there as well. Only thing not in here is my camera because I'm filming for you guys right now and my camera charger, which I do need to throw in here. But that's pretty much that's all going in this base bag that's going to go under the seat in front of me. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next video you'll see from me is actually the vlog from Jamaica. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to vlog and share our vacation with you guys. Anyways, guys, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to support my channel. And of course, I'll be back with more videos soon. Love you guys. Bye.